This video tutorial will cover the tempo functionality found in Song Surgeon version 3 for Mac. That's this functionality down here on the bottom left hand side. And let's go ahead and get started by looking at the different ways in which you can adjust the tempo. Probably the grossest adjustment, if you will, meaning the least amount of fine tuning, is by simply grabbing a hold of this slider and sliding it. And that will get you somewhere the quickest. Uh, in addition to that, we have these presets down here, and the presets are expressed as percentages, so if you click 75, it's 75, if you clicked 20, it's 20, etc. And this little circular arrow over here on the right-hand side where my mouse is now positioned is a reset that resets it back to the default tempo of 100%. The other set of adjustments are these buttons over here on the left, and you can see we have thicker and thinner buttons. The thicker buttons increase by a percent at a time, so if I click this button here that my mouse is over top of, it increases at one at a time, and if I click down and hold, it will continue to auto-increment. The Thinner buttons increase it by one one hundredth of a percent at a time. So that's this decimal place right here where my mouse is. It's 110.00, or in this case, if I click it, it'll become zero 01. As you can see, now zero 02. So that gives you very fine adjustment or very fine control over the tempo. And obviously, we were using the plus buttons. If you use the minus buttons, it decreases the tempo, uh, either by a percent at a time or one one hundredth of a percent at a time. So that is how you apply tempo changes. And of course, all of these tempo changes here that we're looking at that you can see on the screen are largely uh, slowing things down. Uh, we don't have any presets for, for speeding things up because it's not common, but you can easily um, adjust tempo to increase the speed by just simply grabbing a hold of this slider and dragging it. One other thing I'd like to mention to you before we conclude this training video is the application of this tempo functionality to what you see on your screen right here. And we've talked about this a little bit before in the global setting, so this is going to be a bit of a regurgitation, but I think it's important and that is as follows. <clears throat> if you apply a tempo adjustment to this file that's open on my screen right now, and let's say we change it to 50%, that will change everything on the screen to 50%. So that's a global adjustment. Now I'm going to change it back to 100%. I'm going to set up a couple of loop points. Here's the beginning, here's the end. So I want to point out to you what happens in this situation where you've set up one loop or possibly multiple loops. And that is, if we change the tempo now to 50%, what we'll see if we put our progress indicator, which is this white bar here, is that this part of the song here is at 50%. This part of the song over here is at 50%. It's at 50% anywhere we set it or anywhere we check it, except if we go to the loop area. And if you select the loop area by putting the progress indicator within that loop, it is still at 100%. So again, this gets back to this concept of global settings. If you make an adjustment in tempo, and it will be the same in pitch as well, but since we're talking about tempo right now, that's the focus of this discussion. If you make a change in tempo when there is nothing set up on the screen in terms of loops, it will adjust everything on the screen. But the minute you set up one loop area or multiple loop areas, and then you make an adjustment to the tempo for the file, if you're outside of the loops, it will adjust everything that is not within a loop area to whatever you select, 50, 40, 30, 20. So thanks for watching. Bye.